Okay, hello, payphone. Um, this is the first session. We will open the actual session uh, for the final recorded version, but this is uh, where payphone sort of has its first step away from a piece of software that it was originally composed in called Band in a Box. Uh, it uses a kind of methodology like uh, <coughs> workstation keyboards and kind of home keyboard chord functions and and accompaniments and hundreds of styles um, to generate this kind of MIDI based on different um, pop styles. I can't remember what template I've used to make this, this piece of music. Um, the funny thing is that Band in a Box randomly generates titles for you and the, this original title was Off to Valencia. So uh, the original session is called off to Valencia while we figure out what the actual concept is. So this is the, the dry MIDI um, as imported GM assignments, general MIDI assignments into Nuendo which sets you up instances of Steinberg Hellion 1 for the various GM patches, just standard first 128 instruments assignments plus I think I've dipped into WaveStation for a bit of the stuff. Anyway this is the first part of um, Payphone. There's a nice little intro, that's right. Diminished chords, I don't get it. I don't use them. But you'll hear the, the actual... Uh... This is the actual meat and potatoes of um, Payphone. I think I just wanted to actually loop this one section and create like a very sort of hypnagogic... Um, vaporwave song like uh, just just to run this loop in a kind of hypnotic fashion but uh, there were it had bigger ideas behind it once I got sort of into the uh, composition stage but the the first thing I actually must have tried was um, exporting it as a as a very low bit rate mp3 to give me some artifacts and compress it and stuff so So that sort of thing. That was the original idea for Payphone, was that it was just going to be this one loop. Anyway, what, what, what ended up happening with it, and we'll close this one, and I'll mute my phone here. Um, it came, it turned into a bit of a tribute to um, the famous hold music. Um, let me just Google this for a second so I get the names right. Opus number one, the Cisco call manager, um, call manager default hold music for their telephone systems. Um, and it is by Tim Carlton and Derek Deal. I think they were actually some sort of adjacent employees of Cisco, which is a big communications company in the States. Um, somehow it got into, into the being the default hold music for the phone systems um, made by Cisco. Uh, so... That's how you get payphone out of it. Um, the other idea is that there's kind of chimes and little dings that make it sound like an elevator. So uh, the idea is that it's like a small intimate space of kind of refuge um, in a way uh, that, that a payphone and an elevator and these kind of small public uh, technological spaces um, that we uh, know and love. Well, payphones not so much anymore, so that was the kind of idea with these sunset um, concepts. So, payphone for real. I think it's the same chord progression all the way through, except for these little bridge sections. Yeah, so on the on the album itself, this comes after high heels, and it's like we drop a, a nice long track in the middle of it, just to keep things simmering in terms of an energy level, doubling up the standard bass patch with a slap. Uh, 
I had to print this um, this piano track because I couldn't find a simple way of automating the melody loudness versus the velocity because Hellion 1, this piano plugin, is very dynamic and it's very, um, it was very unwieldy so I printed it to audio, re-imported it and just did some little um, changes to the dynamics because it's the only way to see how, you know, for real how the um, different relative volume levels are so you can see as I've sort of snipped this audio version of the above piano track and just, just to pocket it in there, right? Uh, I sort of got a bit frustrated with trying to automate the volume with a with a volume automation or, or anything like that, or compression or something like that. So, yeah. But it's definitely got this uh, hold, hold music. You're kind of waiting for something to happen that doesn't sort of happen. Um, even the melody is like a little meandering and just kind of a little half there. And it's got a kind of sort of dirgy daytime TV soap opera thing for me. And then we move along to this uplifting I think this is where that idea of a payphone being a refuge, um, this kind of idea of public space as a kind of hug, <laughs> uh, a very sort of hard concept to um, explain, but maybe you know what I mean. Sort of this melodrama about sort of nothing. The only tune I've used a stick instead of a snare drum. And it's still called snare. I think I actually swapped it out quite early on, uh, quite, quite late in the piece. Um, but it's this kind of idea of waiting and this kind of clock ticking. Um, liminal sort of in between this um yeah these little glissandi they remind me of uh whatever you call them this little figure reminds me of like radio chimes or like a chime announcement the thunderclap right on cue everything happens right on cue no surprises but even the surprises happen at the right time you notice that um, it's actually a lot quieter in the mix than I thought see this is a mixture of um, thunderclap pretty quiet and then there's a whole bunch of little rain sounds that are all mixed together this one's panned hard left hard right and then one in the centre but they never quite hit the um, the right level to be sort of recognised as rain. I'm just sort of burying it, burying it in there like a sort of tape noise type effect. Oh, this chill section, but um, this break. If we actually, um, you can you can hear it in the in the dry stems. If we turn off all the effects it sounds ridiculous but testament to a few notes through a reverb Off, 
tear down the scene there. Yeah, the um, the reappearance of the melody has a little a little grace note type um, octave on top of it, which is quite cute, and I've used that a lot now uh, in later albums. There's just a slight a slight delay between the lower note and the the upper note. Let me just enable this track. So yeah, you, it's like as if a as if a real piano player was trying to fill out the voicing, but just be slightly slightly late on that second octave above. So that's rain. I sort of reuse this idea in a um, a song in Drop Shadow, the the next record. Um, I reuse this sort of idea and carry on as kind of instruments uh, implying rain. Obvious kind of impressionist, you know. Impressionist idea. In more of these uh, chimey sort of scale runs. Too much solo, sorry. There we go. So you have a kind of question and answer between a straight run and then a run that ascends beforehand. So that's the question. So the, not, not too many surprises in this. This one's a bit, a bit more of a vibe, um, and in you know, refer, referencing referencing hold music, you're going to be um, keeping things pretty simple. The piano opens up to this big reverb send, which I think is reverb push global. That'll be in the spreadsheet. So that, yeah, that reverb push comes comes up a little more and after mastering with a bit of gain reduction and that sort of thing. But yeah, um, in terms of the the chord progressions kind of preset, um, I don't even know, wouldn't be able to tell you what it is because it's come out of band in a box. It was more just like taking the vibe and uh, running with it. F sharp minus seven, nine, B flat minus seven, nine. Then this thinks it's B flat minus seven, nine again. It's... Um, by using the, those kind of templates, I'm sort of thrust into a into a um, territory I don't quite understand, and I just work around that. Uh, helps to keep things kind of fresh and sort of interesting and mystical and mysterious. Um, this, yeah, this B section, still from Band in a Box. Again, we do saying D flat and D flat major nine. All the way through. I'm, I'm looking up here, by the way, to tell me what chord it thinks it is. Anyway, yeah, not too much sort of harmonic movement, not too much modulation or anything. It just kind of cycles around like like a piece of whole music, like Opus One, um, like you know the space inside a telephone, just infinite. It sounds like a finger snap, but it's actually a side stick mixed with a clap that's been high passed. I thought I was using a finger snap sample, like a finger click, but it's um, a mixture of those two sounds. 
Oh, the big kicker that I even missed. This one. This is the uh, the big reference to um, Opus One is this clap sample, which is this one. So that goes out a separate output. The third mono output of, of RMIV. So it's highly compressed and then into a stereo delay that's going at a 16th triplet and a 16th. That is all the way through um, Opus 1 as a kind of motif. There is this clap and I can put it in on the full velocity. So if you do look up Opus 1, the whole music from Cisco Call Manager, uh, you'll hear this clap. And that was kind of the, uh, the big thing that I'm trying to... Uh, push with that whole music is just reference that clap it's kind of funny to go this hard into one tiny sound but it's these are the things that I like <laughs> um, you know much else to say about payphone there are more we can see if there's more um, there's more backup instruments and more so it's like a music box style patch So a bit more of a fuller sound, but almost too full, too much. Not not delicate enough. My only last note that I made myself um, was that the mood is the mood is tense and mellow at the same time. There is a kind of mellow mellow mix of sounds, but the harm the harmonies and the melodies, everything working together is actually quite tense. Um, these kind of clustered chords. This this almost looks like a full just a full tone cluster. It's saying D flat major nine. Um, but yeah, that was particularly interesting to me that the lead line sort of meandering, the harmony doesn't really jump up and down too much, but the sounds are really mellow um, and just gives a nice little impression um, together, mixing those sort of two dis disparate elements. You know, if you have a harmony that's sort of too major and too happy with the mellow instruments, it's going to be sort of, there's nothing sort of spicy in there to keep things... Um, interesting so yeah that's that's payphone that's payphone